Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So as this energy fell, right, we'll, we'll um, uncover what it is in a moment. But when this card fell on the table, I heard a scream, right? Let's see what this energy is. Okay, we have the lovers here. We do have Gemini energy with the lovers. So with the lovers energy, right, I'm... Um, receiving the energy of an individual's ancestors right someone's ancestors have turned their back on them all right because um it's like this person here has abused spiritual um laws okay so them abusing spiritual laws has resulted in their own ancestors having to turn their back on them right and their ancestors did not want to do this they they were pleading with god instructing god to you know kind of give them more of what is needed for them to keep playing their role in this person's life but the more this person kept on living the more bad they 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 just kept on doing right making it hard for their ancestors to protect them because you know you can't protect evil with evil so this is definitely um an individual here that has been let go of by their own ancestors okay their own spirit guides have sort of shunned this person and I, I i'm feeling anger right like this person's ancestors are very angry because instead of this person doing all the evil that they do there's so much more to life than that and this person failing to tap into life in a different way outside of evil that's what's causing the anger within their ancestors. They're so upset that this person, all they know is evil, right? To be a bad person. Making bad decisions and choices. It's like purposely, deliberately doing bad, right? Tapping into bad energy. 
So something occurred here that was the last straw, right? Something this person did was the last straw. Like this is something that they could never come back from or something also that they could never undo, okay? It was the last straw. It's when they this person's ancestors were like, yo, we can't keep protecting this person. We can't keep being on this person's side because this, this is something that can't be justified karma needs to be at play and so they decided that this person in order for them to learn they have to experience something very harsh here we have the empress reversed and then we have the nine of swords mm. whoever this is right this individual here is somebody that has deep envy towards another another woman towards another man all right take it as it resonates for you watching this woman has deep envy okay it's like this is a woman that like it's not just like deep envy in a way of like just envy right it's like it's deep in a way that like i'm channeling a very intense jealousy here very intense jealousy to the point where this level of jealousy can really be the result of somebody making decisions and choices that abruptly shift the their life in a very compromising way it's like an analogy a reference point a case study an example envision this right envision like let's say two pupils in high school right two people in high school and let's say each of the two they have their own individual lives their own individual reputation status quo um they have their own individual lives and this is just an example an analogy a reference point a case study so as they have their own individual lives going on let's say there's one individual with the two people involved right there's that one that seems to have something going for themselves in terms of popularity let's take that the theme of popularity let's say one is popular and one isn't and let's say the one that isn't popular has a deep-rooted um envy towards the one that is popular because they want to be popular themselves or at least be associated with those of popularity so that deep envy then festers within this one person seeing that other one be popular and have this reputation just it enables that fester within them it just something starts to rot where they start to become a very evil person in terms of how they think and how they feel towards that other person that has popularity and a certain reputation status quo status quo caliber image right so as this spirit within them just festers the spirit of envy the demon of envy it festers within them it it, 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 it rots to the extent that this person decides that the only alternative the alternatives that they have out of this is to either befriend this popular person or try to destroy them so that they can lose that reputation that status quo that caliber that image of popularity so coming back to the generalization of this message right you definitely have a it's like a woman that has deep envy towards you right and this envy is based on your life your identity your world and your reality there is something and certain things rather that this woman wants for herself but she can't have it right um but you have it right so with that being said this envy within this woman grew it's something that developed here it started off as a seed and then it sprouted into much more as time goes right 
if you sit in something long enough or you sit with something long enough, you just, you begin to create a relationship with it, a bond with it, and it becomes one with your identity in that way, which is what happened to this woman here. This envy that they have towards you, they've created a relationship with it, right? They have a certain bond with it. So with that being said, this woman for a long time, as they were experiencing this envy, it was something that they could not release, right? Because of the relationship they had formed with the envy itself. It's like, this is a woman that is addicted to hating you. This is a woman that is addicted to wanting and desiring the sight of seeing you suffer. Okay? This is definitely somebody that has deep evil within them, right? Just because you don't have the heart to do something or you would, your mind wouldn't even take you there doesn't mean that there aren't people that vibrate on that already, right? So this woman, this is a spiritual woman here, okay? They tapped in spiritually. And the way in which they are tapped in spiritually, right? They can pick up on the energy of having no protection, no spiritual covering in their life. They, therefore, they know that their ancestors have turned their backs on them, right? This person knows this, okay? It's not information that they are unaware of. They're not walking blind with it, okay? So with that being said, this woman knowing this has enabled her to live in paranoia, Okay, this woman lives in paranoia. We have the emperor. So we have, you know, um, we established that we have Gemini energy here. We also have Taurus and Libra energy here. We also have double Aries energy as well as Scorpio energy. We also have double Gemini energy, okay? Triple Gemini, actually. Okay, we have double Libra energy, we have Aquarius energy, and then we have double Aries energy, we have Leo energy, and we have Sagittarius energy. So... This woman is stuck in this loop, right? It's like they live in this reality of paranoia. Like when they wake up, when they, when they do what they need to do during the day, when they go to sleep, when they not doing anything and they're just sitting, it's like they just followed by paranoia. The spirit of paranoia, paranoia surrounds this person here. And so this person at this time, they're very hyper aware, hyper active, okay? They're trying to enable themselves to have more control over how they feel, how they think, what they're going through by intaking certain things that are, you know, substances um, that make this person feel more in control or more tapped in or they just want to feel more grounded within themselves. Don't forget, this person is spiritually inclined somehow, right? So they know that they're losing it low-key. They have an idea within themselves of how to prevent that from happening further. Which to them, they feel like if they do certain things that help them maintain control, then it would be easier for them to get by even with the paranoia, the spirit of paranoia within them and within their life. So this person is doing a lot to cater to maintaining control, right? 
Now, with that being said, this woman here would love to have a very serious, deep conversation with you. Okay? They dream of this regularly. And the reason of the conversation, it varies for all, right? But this person feels like having this conversation with you, this deep interactive conversation of just truth and clarity and closure, understanding, all right? They feel like if this conversation would take place, this spirit of paranoia would be released from their energy. They would. They feel like they would be able to get rid of this spirit of paranoia if they were to come into contact with you in this way of conversation. And the reason they feel like that, right? It's like, it varies for all why this woman wants to have a conversation and how they've gotten to that point of thinking that having this conversation is going to enable them to get rid of whatever they are haunted by, right? But for, furthermore, the, the, the whole big picture of this is that you have somebody here that feels like this experience because this woman is spiritually inclined they feel like it was because of something that they tried to do to you that's why they're going through what they're going through and to redeem themselves would mean that they have to voice the truth in hopes of closure clarity even empathy in hopes of just getting to the point where you and them can meet eye to eye. They feel like that will clear this karmic debt. All right. They feel like their ancestors would forgive them if this person would apologize to you because something was done to you here, something very evil and wicked. Okay. It's either it was successfully done or it was just an attempt at your life in that way but either way this person took certain actions towards you and those actions is what is making it's like those actions are keeping this person trapped in that loop where they feel like all of this is because of this these actions that have taken towards this person and their life We have the six of pentacles reversed okay we have double taurus energy as well as double scorpio energy we have the ace of cups reversed we have triple scorpio energy and then we have pisces energy and cancer energy we have the three of pentacles we have capricorn energy here This woman here, this, this, this is definitely somebody that the way in which or the form of spirituality that they're tapped into, you know, as a collective, we have things that we believe in, right? This person, they, the way in which they are spiritually inclined, they also have certain belief systems that surround spirituality or are surrounded by or based on spirituality. And now these things that they have a belief system towards, those things are no longer as effective in terms of keeping the faith and trust in them, right? This person is finding it hard to still believe, to still trust and have faith in what they were trusting and believing and having faith in all along, okay?
So back to this conversation, right? This woman here, like, they have, like, this split identity. They have the self that they portray for people to believe that they are a specific way. And then they have the self that they portray when they are alone. When this person is alone and when they are around people or dealing with public or publicity, this person is completely different people. Their identity is completely different. So with that being said, the person that they are alone is the person that wants to have a conversation with you. That self, that identity is the one that wants to come forward and have this deep rooted conversation with you about what they've done. It's like this person, they're sick of having to not admit the truth to themselves and having to wear this mask and this pretend energy, this um, false or this facade, right? They want to be set free from this heavy, heavy comic debt that is playing out in their life. Can you just imagine, beloved? Somebody living, imagine you living with paranoia. Every single thing just tweaks you out, it trips you out, it freaks you out. Imagine living like that. Every single thing, every single person, everything said, everything you see, everything that is done, you're just experiencing it through paranoia. That is not a way to live, all right? Any, anybody in that circumstance would also want to be set free. Anybody. So with that being said, right? This woman knows that you are not fond of her at all. All right? They view you as somebody that doesn't carry hatred within you, but they are on that fine line. That's how they feel. They feel like... Yes, you might not be of that vibration where you hate this person, you hate that person, but they feel like they are damn near close to that. All right? That's how much they feel like you're just repulsed or disgusted by the energy. And with that being said, once more, it does not change the fact that this person still wants to come forward. You have somebody that wants to come forward here. Let's tap in further to the layers of this energy. There is this energy I'm channeling of this woman where life used to be different before. It's like, think about it they didn't have this spirit of paranoia hovering over their life hovering over them before right before they did what they did to you that's why they're at a point in their life where they feel like you know what the only way out of this is to apologize is to take accountability is to give clarity understanding and to approach this person in that way of high vibration and being deep and being genuine about it and sincere but this person, they only want to do that because obviously think back, beloved, you will know also in general, anybody would know when their life is just different all of a sudden or all of a sudden they don't feel the same. Everything is, is changing. It's like this woman, because they're also spiritually inclined, it just makes much more sense to them why they are in the position that they're in. Bless me. 
This person definitely wants to heal, okay? And they feel like in order for them to get to that point of healing, because being followed by the spirit of paranoia is something that requires... Um, it's like an entrapment. They feel like in order for them to get out of the entrapment, they have to heal the situation that put them in that position. They have to heal the actions that they took that put them in that position. This person has that certain ideology of this, right? They feel like coming forward is going to change everything. Their life will be restored back to its original form or at least you know the spirit of paranoia will be out of their reality and out of them inside right so back to i'm being um drawn back to the two identities that this person has right that split identity where there's the person that everybody knows and there's the person that they actually are. The person that everybody knows is the identity they portray to everyone that's connected to them, you know, in terms of publicity and all those things, right? Family, friends, colleagues, you name it. Um, even people they deal with sexually, right? And then there's also the energy of this person there's that identity of them when they're alone which is the self that no one knows because it's the true self that they just hide all right sometimes they even hide from that version of themselves right We have the Knights of Pentacles here, the Three of Cups, we have the Two of Cups here, we have the Judgment Reversed, and then we have the Hermit, okay? This person is seeking redemption. They're seeking restoration. They want to be sane again, right? They want their sanity back. So with that being said, right, this person, they're going to come forward. Now, whenever this happens, whether it has happened, whether it's going to happen in the present or this is future tense, take it out, resonates, but somebody is going to come forward here, right? I'm also getting here that if this person has already done this, if they've, they've come forward already, they don't feel cleansed and they don't feel cleansed from the karma. So they're going to try and come forward again, this time in a different approach, right? And obviously, if this person has an approach to it all, this is what they're planning to do. This person wants to connect with you, okay? They want to remove the outside world when they do this. They want to remove the outside voices when they do this. They, they want to come forward in, in, in their true form. Okay, and this is not something they're doing for you. They're doing it for themselves. There is a serious um, comic debt that is unraveling in their life. And they have this ideology that to cleanse it off of them would be to connect with you in truth and actually take accountability so that things can be made right for them spiritually and maybe even having their ancestors back on their side. Because without that spiritual covering and protection, this person feels naked spiritually physically, emotionally, mentally. Don't forget they're spiritually inclined. 
This person depends on their ancestors. They depend on their spirit guides. So it's not a choice that they, they have that when it comes to, you know, them coming forward, it's not a choice. It's like they, they feel like it, they are backed up in a corner here. They, they are backed up against the wall and it's a compromise that they have to make when it comes to the situation. They have to release ego, release pride, release the envy that even put them in this position for it to work in their favor they feel like they really have to come as bare as naked as they possibly can be spiritually emotionally mentally you know what i'm saying so beloved with that being said expect this person to come forward here and however way they do it they're going to want to speak with you alone this person is afraid of being rejected by you even further because they already feel that you are repulsed by them you're disgusted by their energy they already feel like you hate them even though you are not that person that vibrates on that energy so they are going to attempt and try to gain that access to your energy in order for them to do what this is right and connect with you they want to speak to you alone all right they want to do it alone but this person i keep seeing like as i say this i keep seeing i don't know if it's like a fear that you have of this person trying something with you because them having you alone is not ideal to you i am feeling that it's not something you would want to experience and this person they know that so they are still going to try though because they feel like if they come forward within their true self or their true form it's going to be easier for you to feel comfortable enough to hear them out they just want you to hear them out all right and this person here they've lost all hope for any redemption outside of it happening this way so meaning this person feels like there's nothing else that they can do to make this go away or to clear their spiritual karma um they karmic debt there's nothing that can be done except this. This is the only way to clear this karma. This is the only way to redeem themselves spiritually. Okay. They feel like that. That's why I'm saying this person feels like they have no choice left. This is something that they need to do. Okay. I'm being called to end this message here. This was your message from God. Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual paths. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.